when we should smile. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten Broadway songs that make you happy cry. For happiness is anyone and anything at all that's loved by you. For this list, we'll be looking at all of our musical favorites that bring joyful tears to our eyes. If we missed any of your misty-eyed faves, let us know in the comments below. Number ten, anthem, chess. No man, no madness. Though the sad power may prevail. Listen to Josh Groban sing this without weeping softly. We dare you. Written by Tim Rice, Benny Anderson, and Bjorn Ulvaeus, Anthem is a song about the importance of knowing where you come from. When no flags flew, when no armies stood, my land was born. The number comes from the musical Chess and is sung by Soviet world champion Anatoly as he leaves his home country. The music is almost operatic and absolutely soars in the choruses as it's accompanied by heart-wrenching lyrics of love and loyalty. I cross all the borders. Even though Anatoly may be physically leaving, his heart will never leave home, making for a teary musical moment. Number nine, one second and a million miles, the bridges of Madison County. For the first time in my life, I am somehow part of something. You surround me, you connect me. Jason Robert Brown is a champion of writing beautifully orchestrated, sweeping romantic declarations of love. So why should this song from one of his lesser-known musicals be any different? The Bridges of Madison County wasn't extremely well received on Broadway, but we had to shout out one second and a million miles. Sung between the show's main love interests, Robert and Francesca, the number marks a turning point in their relationship. Robert pleads with Francesca to run away with him, while she considers what might happen if she decides to leave her husband and family behind. There is so much passion between these two, it's hard not to get emotional over the whole thing. Number 8. Unruly Heart, The Prom Some hearts can conform, fitting the norm, flaunting their love for all to see. The Prom is all about self-acceptance, so we had to pick a song from the show that perfectly encapsulates that theme. And no number does it better than Unruly Heart. And though I don't know how or when, but somehow I learned to see, no matter The musical centers around Emma and Alyssa, two teenage girls who want to go to prom together, but are banned from doing so by their school. At a low point in the girls' relationship, Emma posts a video of herself singing a song online. No matter what the world might say, this heart is the best part of me. The song is Unruly Heart, and Emma bears all of her insecurities to the world while still promising to be true to herself. It's 
a really uplifting, tender moment in the show and one of our favorite songs. Number seven, Wheels of a Dream, Ragtime. I see his face. I hear his heart beat. Who wouldn't cry over Audra McDonald and Brian Stokes Mitchell falling in love? 1998's Ragtime has to be one of the most beautiful scores in all of musical theater, and there are plenty of songs in its ranks that make us sob like babies. But out of all of those songs, Wheels of a Dream stands out as the best. We'll go down south. Go down south. See my Colehouse and Sarah sing this gorgeous number about what they hope to see happen for their son as he grows up. It's a stunning duet, with beautiful harmonies and such unabashed yearning that there won't be a dry eye left in the house. Number six, being alive, company. Someone to hold you too close. Someone to hurt you too deep. If there is one person we can count on to make us feel things, it's Stephen Sondheim. Company is one of Sondheim's most beloved shows, and for good reason. It's no skips all the way through. We could spend hours lauding the greatness of Company, but today we're here to talk about one song in particular, Being Alive. Someone to crowd you with love, someone to force you to care, someone to make you come through. The main character Bobby sings this number at the end of the show when he finally decides that he's ready to commit to a relationship. Somebody pull me up short and put me through hell and give me support for being alive. Make me alive. There's still fear that comes with that decision, no doubt, but Bobby has decided that finding one person to share his life with is worth the risk. But It's a passionate number about giving in to love and how great risk breeds great reward. <laughs> number five, You Will Be Found, Dear Evan Hansen. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Here is one that definitely brings mixed feelings, and tears are for sure a part of that. Dear Evan Hansen follows Evan, an anxiety-ridden teen who gets caught up in a lie he can't control when he pretends he was friends with a classmate who recently died. Evan's popularity reaches a crescendo when he gives a speech at an assembly for the student, singing our next entry, You Will Be Found. The song itself offers hope to people who feel as if they don't belong, but knowing that Evan is lying about so much brings a dark note to that message. It makes us happy cry, but we also find it bittersweet. Number 4. I'm Here, The Color Purple Speaking of self-acceptance, is there a better celebration of self than I'm here? We certainly don't think so. 
but the color purple has a lot of struggles and strife to get through before we reach that famous 11 o'clock number. Seely, the main character, learns a lot of hard lessons throughout the show. Before she sings I'm Here, she's just learned that Suge, the woman she's in love with, wants to leave her for a man. The two have been through a lot at this point, but amazingly, Seely doesn't let this new development break her. Instead, she sings this amazing number about how, for the first time, she's learned to love herself first and foremost. <laughs> number 3. For Good, Wicked I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason. Romantic love might give us all the feels, but when it comes to friendship, some songs have the ability to turn us into straight-up puddles. So is the case with this bittersweet duet from Wicked. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? Wicked follows the friendship and later rivalry between Glinda the Good Witch and Elphaba, or, as you may know her, the Wicked Witch of the West. The two sing for good at the end of the second act, just before they leave each other behind, well, for good. And now whatever way our story ends, oh, you have rewritten my The song is a beautiful recognition of their relationship and everything they've meant to each other, good and bad. And none of it seems to matter anymore. If there's one thing that's true, it's that people leave their mark, and this song is a wonderful tribute to that fact. Number 2. You'll Never Walk Alone, Carousel When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high Here is a song that ends up in a hopeful place, but takes a lot of sadness to get there. In Carousel, a character named Nettie sings You'll Never Walk Alone to our main character Julie just after her husband Billy dies from a stab wound. It's meant as a song of encouragement, but it doesn't really reach that crescendo until it's sung again at the end of the show. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, all your dreams blue. Billy has returned as a spirit to try and help his daughter Louise, who's become angry and lonely as she's grown up without him. He implores her to believe the words of You'll Never Walk Alone, and eventually she does. The song morphs into not just encouragement, but a song of hope and goodwill. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Slipping Through My Fingers, Mamma Mia. ABBA knew what they were doing with this. Sometimes I wish that I could freeze the picture And save it from the funny tricks of time Slipping through my fingers A part of us, once on this island, who knew a tree could make us cry? You will always be a part of us. 
Somewhere that's green, little shop of horrors. Such a simple request, so many tears. I dream we'll go Somewhere that's green You matter to me, waitress. The simplest statement of all is also the weepiest. I am what I am, la cage au folle. Loving yourself is the most important thing. I am, am what I am, I don't want praise. I don't need pity. I bang my own drum. Some think it's noise. Well, I think it's pretty. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, somewhere, West Side Story. There's a place for us. Somewhere a place for us. On his own, Sondheim can make us cry, but add Leonard Bernstein in and you've got yourself a sob fest. West Side Story is one of the greatest musicals of all time, and its music soars above the rest. One hand, one heart fills us with hope for the love between Tony and Maria. But nothing quite reaches the heights of Somewhere. In the original show, Tony and Maria sing the song in one last desperate attempt to keep their love alive. We'll find a new way of living. We'll find no way of forgiving. Somewhere. But in the 2021 movie, a new character, played by the incomparable Rita Moreno, sings the song as almost a prayer for the young people in her neighborhood. No matter who sings it, it never fails to tug at our heartstrings. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.